Greetings! This is Pastor Linda with the thought of the day. Last week you looked at faith. Today we're looking at 1 John, the fifth chapter. Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood. And so Jesus became a man. He had to have blood in him in order to pay the price for our penalty for our sin. Because the Bible says without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins in Leviticus there had to be sacrifices there had to be a sacrifice and in the Old Testament it was animals that were their blood was shed because sin is such a terrible thing that there had to be some atoning for that sin but Jesus became the atonement the penalty the payment for our sin sin is a terrible horrendous thing it caused the death of Jesus called the death of those animals that's how horrendous our sin is this is he who came by water and blood jesus christ not only by water but by water and blood and this is the spirit who bears witness because the spirit is truth for there are three that bear witness in heaven the father the word and the holy spirit so we see here that there are three that bear witness in heaven the father the word and the holy spirit these three are one so the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit are one. There are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit, the water, and blood. Again, you can't be on the earth unless you're born of the water and you have blood in your veins. These three agree as one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater, for this is the witness of God, which he testified of his Son. He that believeth in the Son of God has the witness in himself. He who does not believe God has made him a liar. Because he has not believed the testimony that God has given of his son. And this is the testimony that God has given us, eternal life. And this life is in his son. So life is in the son, Jesus Christ. He who has the son has life. He who does not have the son does not have life. These things have I written unto you who believe in the name of the son of God that you may know that you have eternal life. You know, the Bible says right here in 1 John 5, 13, that you may know that you have eternal life. If you don't know that you have eternal life, then you can know. It's right here. You put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. It says, and that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Now, this is the confidence that we have in him. Notice, I love the word, know and confidence. He said, this is the confidence in 1 John 5, 14. That we have in him, in who? In Jesus Christ. That if we ask anything according to his will, what's his will? His word is his will. He hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. So when you're asking, if you're asking according to the will of God, he said, you can know that you have those petitions. You know, it says in Psalms 107.20, he sent his word Remember, Jesus is the Word, came flesh and dwelt among us. He sent Jesus. Jesus bore our sickness and pains, and by his stripes we were healed, 1 Peter 2, 24. It says, it says right here that if we ask anything according to his will, his will is his Word, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know, because we just asked according to his will. He said, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. So if you're standing on the promises, then you can know according to the scripture, that you have the petitions that you desired of him. Well, so stand on the word today. This is the victory that we have for whoever is born of God. So when you receive Jesus, the Bible says in John 3, it says you become born of the Spirit. Whoever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. So if you want to overcome, trust in Jesus and have faith in his word, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Until next time, this is Pastor Linda with the thought of the day. Check out our website at cfclakefield.com and visit us on Sundays at 10 a.m. online or in person. And visit my website at lindacross.com for more thoughts of the day and for upcoming webinars. And don't forget to support what we're doing. We're going into Mexico this June and we've been starting Bible schools. And we've got over 300 students right now and I'm going to be going again back in June. And I really want to bring some more supplies down with Bible schools because there's many that want to start but just don't have the supplies. And also we want to be able to bless the, the youth with some more bats and balls and just take some food down. There's, there's such a need down there. They make between $2 and $11 a day. 
So help me go into Mexico again in June and bring the gospel, setting up Bible schools, changing lives, winning souls, making disciples, and building the church. That's our purpose. And if you get involved, you'll be a part of that purpose in the earth. And you'll get to have the harvest just like we have when you get to the kingdom. When you get to heaven, you get to see those people who are one into the kingdom. And lives change through the seeds you sow. So sow a seed so you can reap a harvest now and eternally in Jesus' name. God bless. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Look upon you with his favor and give you peace today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.